specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. Jake! Isn't that the girl from Bird Box? It's amazing to meet you. It is simply extraordinary. The beast is coming for you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to Take 5. I'm Jake. I'm May. And today we're taking a look at the film Glass. Now, who'd like a PB and J sandwich? <laughs> so we watched Glass at the cinema, the third in the trilogy from M. Night Shalemanam. Shalemanam. I love his name. 19 years after the film Unbreakable, starring Bruce Willis, which is a brilliant film. Then he had the film Split. Rejoice! And the twist of that was that it's set in the same world as Unbreakable, which leads into the third film called Glass. 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 Not glass. 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 <laughs> no way. So Bruce Willis runs around in a cape because his kind of his kryptonite is water. He cannot get wet, so it kind of drains his powers. And he goes around trying to save people around the street, and he's helped by his son who yes. is the original kid from Unbreakable 19 years ago. Bruce Willis is tracking down James McAvoy's character, who has about 24 personalities, including one which is the Beast. So Bruce Willis walks around the streets, and using his power of touch to get a sense of what bad stuff people have been up to, he tries to track down the Beast. Four girls, cheerleaders, have been kidnapped by It's always, the, it's always, the, always the cheerleaders. Always the cheerleaders, get it. I'm ready! The beast is emerging in a tunnel nearby to come and eat them. So they have a confrontation, the beast and David fight. The beast is quite surprised because he's unbreakable. Meanwhile, the police have arrived, so they all end up in an institution for the sort of criminally insane, and Samuel L. Jackson's character from Unbreakable is in there. We keep him heavily sedated, but there is a reason for that. He's too smart for them. You've got Bruce Willis, you've got James. McAvoy, is it? McAvoy. McAvoy. James McAvoy. <laughs> McAvoy. <laughs> James McAvoy? No, McAvoy! Bruce Willis, you've got Samuel L. Jackson, and you've got... James McAvoy. Yes, James McAvoy. <laughs> So in the asylum, while Sarah Paulson's trying to convince them that they are not superheroes, Samuel L. Jackson's Mr. Glass character is organising a grand escape with the help of the Beast. The Beast! That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. And then he's tracked down by David and they have a massive fight outside, which has all been sorted out and organised by Mr. Glass. I have to get out of here before he gets out. They are contained. They always underestimate the mastermind. You have a big fight outside, don't they? Yeah. Kapow! But it's all been recorded by Mr. Glass and on 300 cameras that Sarah Paulson has put in to stop them escaping, Samuel L. Jackson's Mr. Glass has uploaded it all to the interwebs. Finally, all of us together for the world to see what we are capable of. Sarah Paulson's character, you find it, is working for a secret organization who have a clover tattooed on somewhere on their body. Are they Irish? A clover? Maybe they are. Do they work for the butter company? They work for butter company. They don't want these superheroes getting all their butter. I had an Auntie Marge. <laughs> oh. oh, that's not a joke. <laughs> I had an Auntie Marge. She was really ill. <laughs> we covered her in butter. She went downhill fast after that. A lot of people are going to die. So what did you think of this film? I really liked it. I thought it was enjoyable. I couldn't remember um, Unbreakable that well because it had been a while since I'd seen it. Um, it was 18 years ago. But there we are. Um, uh, that was only born yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you were born yesterday. <laughs> the Beast is coming any minute now for you guys. It should have been more Bruce Willis. I like Bruce Willis. I like Bruce kind Willis. kind of felt a little bit of sideline to the other characters. I would like to see more of his powers him doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing, right? Um, McAvoy's character had 25 characters, mm. all different, and what I loved, 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 loved about this is they really showcased it this time. I'm Mary Reynolds. Por favor, senora. We almost got you, bro. Incredible action. Wow. 
It and, was uh, just, but great performance. Techno Jeff spent a lot of time sort of not saying much, but when he came alive, he really Master came alive and he was fantastic. This is where they would paint you with big eyes and bubbles of confusion above your head. As Mr. Glass said at the end of the film, this is not a superhero story, it's an origin story. Which maybe it will lead to some more films. Oh, I gave me goosebumps. I gave me goosebumps. I really liked it. 8.5. 8.5. Go see it. <laughs>What do you think of Film Glass? Let us know in the comments below. And remember guys, every Wednesday 12 o'clock we release a brand new video, so make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that bell. That's all from us, catch you next time.